Welcome to the Hippie Report, my sacred, sacred siblings. I hope you're all doing very well today. It's a beautiful day. A little gray outside. Looks like it wants to <coughs> maybe flirt with raining a little bit. Which makes sense because I totally considered paying for a car wash the other day. So it makes sense that we'd be seeing rain now. What's up, Tyler? Anyway. Just, uh, just checking in. Trying to let you know you're a fucking priority. You know that's one of the nicest things you can do for anybody is let them know they matter. Uh, this is just me trying to show up and let you know that, uh, those of you that like this show, uh, I am trying to do the show, you know? Today, uh, I, uh, I guess I have a little bit of a story. Allegedly, uh, allegedly, I sat around in my garden yesterday and, and, um, tripped on LSD uh, in an effort to sort of like ground myself and sort of, um, I don't know, I don't know, pull myself together. So you may have noticed there wasn't a show yesterday. Well, I was far too high, allegedly, uh, to, uh, to do any kind of show. And now, smoking this joint, I'm considering... Uh, Returning my emails and stuff while I go for a walk down to Main Street, Longmont, where I intend to perhaps purchase an Italian beef sandwich from Johnny's. Now, Johnny's not a sponsor of the episode. Um, you know, they're, they're not a sponsor of the show, but they might as well be, because uh, they're wonderful, wonderful people over there, and a great local company, and I eat those Italian beef sandwiches Mm, with my full, full heart and all of my gusto. You get it dry, I think. You, you can get it um, dry, wet, or dipped. And I, I, you know, I guess they kind of make sense for what they are. But basically, like, how, how juicy do you want your bread? Personally, I like to go for uh, the dry and I get the juice on the side. Because then I get to like be much more decadent with it, and um, I'm not dealing with just this big mess of wet bread, which is unappealing to me. Oh, thanks, AJ. That's very kind. Uh, yeah, I got a haircut, and it's a much shorter than my hair used to be. I probably look uh, a little older than I did uh, in the last episode. Because, uh, well, one, I am a little older, a day older, but also, like, I feel like my, when my hair is short, I just, I just look a little bit more my age. I'm not, like, an old man, for fuck's sake. 34, but I think I look way more 34 with short hair. With the long hair, it, it's a little bit more fakeable. Not that I'm trying to look young. Anyway, not really trying to look young. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted here, folks. There's a bunch of text messages coming through my phone. <coughs> Some of them quite dramatic. <coughs> so, I got friends that need my attention today. So, I'll be trying to spend some of my time today uh, being a good friend. But that's tough. It's tough to be a good friend. Just like it's tough to, like... Smoke a joint and uh, and accidentally fucking knock your cherry off into the ashtray. God damn it. I didn't pack my joint very carefully, and now I'm paying the price. Let us all just take a quick lesson here. Um, when you do things half-heartedly, you can only get half-hearted results. That's my opinion. That's what just happened with my joint. I heard a very genius thing from a close friend yesterday. Uh, she said, um, when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And I think that is one of the more brilliant things uh, I've heard in a while. It just seems so true. And um, 
boy, you can put that in your business context. Uh, oh, thank you, Wayne. What a nice, uh, I just saw your comment. You say you always look dapper and handsome. Thank you very much. Um, when you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Man, that just fucking seems so true to me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just all alone about it. But uh, every once in a while, my friends, like I have very smart friends and very deep thinking friends. And every once in a while, they kind of, I don't know, like offhandedly say something that I just have to be like, oh, wait, I have to. I have to think about what you said there. I actually have a roommate that rents out this, uh, what used to be my art studio. Um, and uh, every once in a while, we'll be sitting around having coffee or whatever in the morning, and that motherfucker will say, like, some mind-blowing thing, kind of offhandedly, you know, like that uh, play stupid games, win stupid prizes kind of a thing, where it's just like, oh, shit. You know, I hate it when it happens in the morning. When somebody says something really important and deep first thing in the morning, it seems very inconsiderate to me. That's all. Just seems inconsiderate. Inconsiderate is uh, one of the rudest things you can make someone feel, I think. Not considered. You yeah. know? I've been studying a lot of, like, personal development stuff and a lot of, like, psychology stuff lately. And, um... What's up, Stephen? Good to see you. And, um... And so maybe you have been hearing a little bit of jargon come out of my stupid face uh, over the last, you know, 48, 9, uh, some odd episodes. I'm just... Uh, I have friends that are therapists and, um... I uh, sometimes date a therapist. Uh, I, th I think she's mostly in it for like a research type purpose, you know. You know, maybe she's writing some kind of paper or something. But um, uh, I've been I've been saying a lot of things like, "Oh, it's good to provide space," or I've been saying shit like, um, uh, "Say more." About whatever. Somebody says something interesting, I say, say more. And it's like the perfect phrase to unlock someone a lot of times. And um, I guess I've learned that from my therapist friends. So I hope you'll uh, excuse my bullshit. Lots of flavors of bullshit on this show. And I, I hope they're all uh, accepted. Uh, or, or, you know, by golly, you can always tune away. What's up, Hint? Good to see you. I hope you're doing very well. I try and say hello to people when they pop through the chat here. <coughs> Decided to roll myself up a joint today. Um, the um, This particular strain of weed is called uh, the Cheesy Fire. And it's particularly moist. And I'm probably smoking it a little early in its experience. But, yeah, it's not really staying lit. Because, um, A, I didn't pack it very well. And B, I, um, I didn't, I didn't really let it wait around as long as you're supposed to. Good morning, Hand. I hope it's a beautiful morning where you are. I think you said at 4.20 my time, it's around midnight your time, something like that. I, I think that's maybe what you said, so. Yes, good morning. It's morning for me too, even though it's like a 11 something. Uh, I decided to try and knock the show out a little early today um, and just try and leave town a little bit. <clears throat> you know, take a little drive and, uh, and, and just, just get out for a minute. Needing some space, I suppose. You know, feels good. I've been considering a new art project and it is, uh, it's to take me back to Europe. I'm interested in going to Greece. Um, <clears throat> there's this island they got there, Mykonos. And it's just this very compact group of like white buildings. Almost all of the buildings are white. And all the way around, 
the paving of the streets and between the stones is white and everything's beautiful, perfect white. Um, and I think it would be really cool to take a camera and a small portable projector and shoot liquid light videos on those buildings and scenery. Because what happens at night with this projector stuff, with this liquid light shit, is um, you you project it on, say, like, uh, imagine yourself some, like, uh, stone walkway where the, the grout in between the stones is white. Okay, that's what they've got over there. Now, if you can, imagine what happens if you project a light onto that surface. Well, the, the fucking white parts really stand out and the dark parts sort of stand out, right? <sighs> well, with liquid light, what would happen is uh, mostly we would see the color and the effect happening in the grout, in, the, in that, uh, that shit in between the rocks. And I think that that would be a really interesting photo. And especially down like an alleyway, a small projector that can get down an alley with relative clarity um, at night. I think that would be really special and beautiful, especially after you fuck with it in the computer, where you can sort of draw down the graph of, of light, I guess. I'm not sure how to say it. You, you sort of like make the dark parts darker. And so I think I could basically make it to where all of the effect that was happening on the dark parts of the rock would essentially disappear. And the colored grout part, the in-between the rock part, would be the only part we really see our effect in. And I think that would be an incredible, incredible effect. Um, and I'd love to do a photo series in that particular island. So I'm thinking about finding a week to kind of go over there. And um, I don't know, man. It, it'll have to be sometime when, like, A, it's moral and legal to go, uh, but also B, yeah, it would have to be a time when I could afford it. So C in 2060. But I think that idea is really good. In between then and now, I'm going to be doing some smaller projects where I'm going to uh, uh, be doing more of like uh, local shoots like that, finding local um, municipal buildings and stuff that are that, they, they're white buildings a lot of times with pillars even sometimes. And I think that would be fun to do liquid light on. So we'll see if you'd like to fund that project and, uh, and get prints of all the awesome photos or whatever. I'd love to, I'd love to make that deal with you. Hit me up if you like. Anyway, just prattling on about art projects now, I guess. But um, that shit's been really on my mind. And um, I, I really loved my experience in Europe. I probably talk about it way too much. It's, it's probably the most exciting thing that happened to me last year. Um, and uh, I don't know, just... I'm always trying to plan the next thing. I think if you're not planning the next thing, you're not gonna do the next thing. Personal opinion. But that's based on experience, too. You know? Anyhow, anybody ever been to Greece? Seem nice over there? Hen, do you ever pop up to Greece? I guess it ain't so terrible far from where you're at. I'd be interested in seeing other things in Greece, of course. You know, I'd love to pop into Athens, and I like to see all the, um, oh, temples of the gods, and oh, that kind of shit. I'd, I'm interested in that. But mostly, I just, I'm looking to make art and see beauty and have tasty meals. So. <laughs> I think I'll probably start saving up for a projector. That's probably the next thing. Save up for a projector and then uh, maybe start shooting these local spots. We'll see. 
I'm interested in trying. If you got a fucking tip off for me about uh, a cool local spot, ideally like a white building, you know, it's like a temporary, um, it, it, it will only shine a light on it for a few minutes, probably like 2 a.m. or something when nobody's even around. So, I don't know, seems fun. If you have any ideas about it, hit me up. I'd be interested to uh, to take your opinions. Nice to see everybody today. Uh, it's it's a beautiful day. I know I say that every time on this show, but you know, man, in a way, it's always true. Anyway, a deep pleasure uh, talking to all of you today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Next episode will be the 50th episode. The 50th time that we've gotten together and smoked out. I think that's very strange. So, um, maybe we'll try and do something special. If you have any ideas. And let me just head this off at the pass. Yes, I can get my guitar out. You know, and I, I'm, you know, maybe I'll do that. It's the 50th fucking episode. Maybe I'll do a couple tunes and shout out some artists or whatever. Um, everybody else in the world's getting their guitar out. I haven't at all. So, um, okay, maybe for the next episode I'll, I'll get my guitar out. We'll see. Um, anyway, I hope you have a beautiful day. Um, I hope that uh, if you enjoy the show, for whatever your reason, um, I hope you feel free to hit me up on my Venmo, man. That's how I've been paying my bills lately, and uh, I appreciate it. So, thank you very much.